Hey, welcome back to the big boy. I'm talking about this uh, air assault scenario. Uh, you know, this is interesting. I just had this thought. Uh, that's why I stopped the video. If the US forces abandon the large building that has four hexes, uh, you know, most of us think, well, if I stay in that building, even if I keep one hex, I win and I might be able to hold out for the six turns. Okay, well that's interesting, and that's fine. But it is difficult to do that. And we usually give up these two, which allows a full concentration of force down here. However, what if we focused our efforts on covering the approaches to that building there? That's one of the VP hexes. Uh, well, so is this one, and we can get to that. But this one here, if I have units here, and units here. I've only got three, so I would probably put two and an M60 here with a squad. And maybe, uh, yeah, I gotta, I've got to have a Malay capable, strong Malay force here, and then strong firepower here. And that's just tough to do with three units, but hey, it's interesting. I could put uh, good covering lanes of fire on any approach com coming from this direction that would then force some landing either in this area so maybe he would try and land here or maybe he would try and land here and, and sweep he'd have to clean this out before he could make a, a solid approach here you know, or I could just bam, bog down on this building but let's see or he could bring forces in this way and try and, uh, try and land in this direction he still has to capture this building I still have my reinforcements coming in over here. I've just got this slapped out on the table for the moment, so it's all uh, wonky. Uh, so he's going to have to commit forces here. And he's going to have to commit a reasonable amount of force here. And he can drop off three squads or two squads. He's going to have to spread them out. And that leaves me wide open to bring in my uh, three squads and uh, the two M113s and the M1 and then bring that Abrams, Abrams right up and just just pound the dickens out of that guy with the goal being capture one hex so this becomes the ruse these guys can all die these guys can all fight to the death try and keep this hex we hopefully will have five squads up here trying to take these two hexes hmm interesting Tactically, I'm you know, throwing my guys to the wind here, sacrificing them, but I'm forcing him to spread out and dissipate his key strength, which is his, uh, uh, first of all, his mobility with the choppers, and secondly, his uh, concentrated firepower. Once he gets stacks of three squads and a leader with the, uh, you know, he's got these uh, PKMs, RPKs, which get a plus one on Malay, I believe. Two RPG-16s. He's got a big-ass force. Plus, he's got an airstrike. And the other benefit of being spread out and not all lined up here in a row, you know, is when that strike, that aircraft strike comes in, it just goes in a straight line and it blows the dickens out of lots of stuff. So, uh, this might be an interesting alternative and then allows me to be offensive down in this part of the town, uh, down there in this, this factory building. And allows me to uh, uh, have a, uh, be on the offense and trying to melee into what will hopefully be a lightly defended building. Um, you know, there's some nice little back ways you can actually come in around through here. I think, yeah, through this this uh, rough patch of ground here and these light woods, and then you can start uh, start humping in. And I only need one turn to get in and get one unit in, but undisrupted unshaken and that would uh, seal a win over here this only only problem with this plan is that this ground here is all covered so he could drop here but that that's so one two three that's four it's gonna take him two or three turns just to get to contact and he's gonna to want to be fairly aggressive so I think he'll land here and possibly here uh, to try and clear the buildings and then capture the the, the, 
the house. That's the way he would think, I think. All right. We'll see what happens tonight, and I'll post all this stuff tomorrow.